Um, I learned that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords answers my call, but you might not. If I call you, you might not answer, but the ultimate King on high answers me every time I call. Wow. Wow. And to know that I have a direct line to heaven that will answer me when I call out to him. But if I call you next door, you might not answer me. But the king of glory will answer me if I call him. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I felt that. I felt that. Minya, we, we, we're wrapping up. Um, here's my burden. And, and you can help me with this. I have been a church pastor, a pastor for 15 years, and I still work with churches. And every week and every time I, I'm in a church, I see people with so much gifts and abilities that I think can start their own business, right? People who have amazing culinary skills, um, decorating skills, organizing skills. And for a lot of them, there is fear there is unknown and maybe there even is like ceilings for them i'm not supposed to do that mm -hmm. talk to just someone who might be a believer who has a thing and maybe now has a spark maybe i can start something what are some steps you would tell him or her to get started because i love what you said not one day but day one what are some steps you would tell him or her to yeah. get started. I would say start where start where you are. You're never going to have all of the money, you're never going to have all the equipment in place, you're never going to have all the start right where you are in order to get from where you are to where you want to be. I would say just start. Mm -hmm. I would say that the voice inside of your head that's telling you you cannot do this is a liar. Mm. I would say, speak what you seek till you see what you said. The Bible says, have faith in God if you believe and not doubt. Uh. You can have whatever you say. Mark 11, 22 through 24. I uh. paraphrased it, but. It's the, the Mignon version. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if people are picking up on this. Mignon, you know and are claiming the promises of God. Yeah. And I think that's uh, a cheat code right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it's a definitely a cheat code. Cheat code. Definitely, uh, you know, there's, there's, there are four things. There are four things, I would say, principles or promises that the plan of God offers us, that is, it will prosper you. It will not do you harm. It will give you hope and it will speak to your future. How do mm -hmm. I know it? Jeremiah 29, 11, for mm -hmm. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And it's right here in our face in one Bible verse spelled out for you. All I was able to do was glean. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm over here like Ruth. Mm. Like, all I was able to do was glean from one scripture. Okay, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So God's plans will prosper me. Mm -hmm. They will not do me harm. They will give me hope, which never disappoints. And it will speak to my future. So if I need to figure out if I'm on the right plan or the plan of God for my life, I can measure it against these four principles. Am I prospering from it? Will prosperity come as a result of this plan, this thing that I'm putting all my time, talent, my treasure, my gifts into? Is it going to harm me or my children, my family in any kind of way? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is it Get it, does it speak to the life on the inside of me that gives me hope that I can get up tomorrow and try again? Does it speak to the gut on the inside of me that says this will work if I work it? And it speaks to my future. 
what will happen if only you believe. Folks, I don't know about y'all. I feel like the doors of the church are now open <laughs> by, uh, by uh, profession, by letter. <laughs> no, I, we, we've had a church experience today. And uh, <laughs> you know, if you're watching this, you need to share this. So please make sure you do that. Now, Mignon, you're an author. And we tell people the name of your book so that they can go on Amazon and get it and yeah. read it and get more yeah. of this inspiration. Yeah. So the name of my book is Made from Scratch. Finding Success Without a Recipe. It is my playbook. It is my memoir. It tells you how I did it so that you can do it too. Like I said before, God is not a respecter of, of persons. So if you see me having it, doing it, being it, living it, seeing it, you, you can have it, be it, do it, live it, see it too. I It'll love be it. your own journey, not mine. That's right. That's right. And Mignon, we, we got to get you back. All right. We got to figure it out, but we got to get you back <laughs> and tell people now how we can connect with the cupcake yeah. uh, collection. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm excited about. My wife and I just decided we want to be vegan. And I just uh -huh. looked on your website and saw you got vegan options. You yeah, got something yeah. for us. You got something yes. for us. So tell us your website, tell us your social, and tell us your social. Uh, yep. Beyond, yeah. Yep. Not only do I have vegan cupcakes, I have gluten free cupcakes. Come on now. And, you know, and then we have classic cupcakes. We ship our cupcakes nationwide with our partnership through FedEx. And you can find us 24 hours a day at thecupcakecollection.com. And then you can follow us on all socials um, at Cupcake Collection. To, on Twitter, we are at Cupcake Tweets. And then personally, one of my favorite places to be found is either on mignonfrancois.com mm -hmm. or on Instagram at mignon.francois. That's M-I-G-N-O-N-F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S. I love it. It's right there on your screen. Instagram, mignon.francois. Yeah. Um, and on Facebook, it? it's I am Mignon Francois. Love it. Instagram, the Cupcake Collection, and go to the Cupcake Collection, get your sweet treats, and <laughs> um, be a part of this vision. And also remember, made from scratch.